formation. The action of sun, water, ice, wind, and plants break huge pieces of rock to form soil. The process of soil formation is very slow, taking thousands of years, and is known as the weathering of rocks. The rocks are continuously exposed to the agents of weather, constantly heated by the sun and cooled by the rain. The alternate heating and cooling over a long period of time cracks the rocks in the following manner. Rain falling over heated rocks causes them to break due to sudden contraction. The rain collects in these cracks and may freeze in winter forming ice. The ice in the crevices expands causing the rocks to break into smaller pieces. Sometimes, due to strong winds and other natural causes, rocks may roll down, scrape each other, and break into smaller pieces. Sometimes the roots of a tree enter the crevices and as they grow and require more space for themselves, this results in the breaking up of rocks. The roots of some plants produce acid that helps in breaking the rocks. The continuous movement of water from streams, waterfalls, and rivers also break large rocks into smaller pieces. Thus, soil formation is a slow and continuous process. to the agents of weather, constantly heated by the sun and cooled by the rain. The alternate heating and cooling over a long period of time cracks the rocks in the following manner. Rain falling over heated rocks causes them to break due to sudden contraction. roots of a tree enter the crevices and as they grow and require more space for themselves, this results in the breaking up of rocks. The roots of some plants produce acid that helps in breaking the rocks. Water from streams, waterfalls, and rivers also break large rocks into smaller pieces. Some of these agents can cause change physically, that is, just by the force of contacting the rock.
water, in all its forms, is the most powerful agent. The physical force of water and ice can break rocks and wear away their surfaces.